What's up guys? Nate and Sutton back with another video and welcome to our new studio in the making. It is in the process of making. I told him I feel like we shouldn't be filming in here until we actually have it looking like what we want it to look like, but whatever. One step at a time. I like it though so far. You like it? I like the dark colors and it's fitting for this video since today we're talking about Halloween and the darkness. <sighs> It's also October 1st when this video is going to be posting, so what do we think about, we think about October. We think about Halloween. Yeah, it's that time of year again when we got to start feeling we, all the Halloween decorations coming out, skeletons in the neighborhood, demons, witches, and I'm starting to scratch my head and be like, what's going on? Is this something <laughs> that I want our kids to be around? I don't know, this is getting weird. Yeah, so I thought we could start off by talking about our past experience with Halloween. So, growing up, I celebrated Halloween, not celebrated it, I don't know, I participated, what do you want to call it? I dressed up, I went to the houses and got my candy, and I called it a night. Did you? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't say I got a little bit, like I s would seek out the scariest homes and like the scarier the better. You also would dress scary. Yeah, I would dress like, you know, like the, the scream face with blood coming down my face and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, now that we're parents and we have kids of our own and trick-or-treating is all the rage and candy and all that stuff, it really has given us an opportunity to be like, okay, is this honoring God? Does this glorify God? And because that's ultimately our goal with everything that we do, especially now that we're raising kids and what their, the activities that they're participating in, and there's just been some really big red flags for us in this area that, I don't know, I, I just feel like it, it's hard to participate in and feel like you're doing something that's glorifying God at the same time. Yeah, now our kids pass with Halloween is that when we had Oakland, we did not do Halloween. Even though we had grown up doing it, we were like, we're not going to do it. It's just kind of questionable. It's not like we felt really wrong about it, but we definitely didn't feel really right about it. So we're like, let's just tread on the side of caution and say we're just not going to do it so we would go on fall trips we would go somewhere for the night like up to the mountains we live not too far away from the mountains we would go and stay there for the night and still try and do something fun get us out of the neighborhood where we're not having to pass out candy or participate and i really like that and then we did it again when we had halston still didn't do halloween we did it again and then the only thing we did was we went to our church's trunk or treat and let them dress up but we didn't actually do halloween so it's like we were kind of easing ourselves into it and then the next year, which was last year, we did do it. We let them dress up as little dragons and they were so precious and they had the best time going trick-or-treating. But then this year, once again, Halloween starts coming up, we start talking about it and now it's just like, we just don't feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Also, we were in Home Depot either last week or the week before and we, they really wanted to see the Halloween decorations and y'all know Home Depot has the big, massive, like blow up things, things that move and they'll talk to you. And I was like looking at them. I was looking at our kids, like cute, angelic, like sweet, innocent faces. And I look back at these demonic, scary, they were so scary. Like I'm surprised they were even looking at them and not crying. But it just felt so wrong that I immediately was like, we are not looking at this. And turned it around and walked the other way because it just felt, it just felt wrong mm -hmm. in my soul. <laughs> Yeah, so we saw this girl make a post on Facebook that really resonated a lot with us. She was going through the store Michaels and she was seeing all the Halloween decorations, you know, with demons and witches and Ouija boards and ghosts and all this crazy stuff. And basically just thinking, okay, is this something that a Christ follower should be a part of? You know, we're called to be set apart. Uh, and it's obviously a day that is celebrating what what seems to be like celebrating the demonic. People, she also said something about people like to sprinkle Jesus on top, which I thought that was kind of funny because, you know, people will like dress kids as Bible characters and think it's okay, but you're still participating in this holiday that we won't even get into like where Halloween came about and, you know, the origins and all that. You can look that stuff up, which also makes it even crazier that we would even consider participating in it. But it's just like, no matter how much you sprinkle Jesus in, it's not going to be made right. Like he said, we're called to be set apart. And we that includes like not even partaking, not even like drinking of the cup, not even just like get away from it. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we feel is like if it's questionable for us, it's just not worth it. 
Yeah, I always like to look at things as like a, a risk versus reward analysis. And it's like, okay, what are the potential rewards of celebrating in Halloween? You know, your kids have fun, they get candy, they can have memories, all this stuff. But that's such a small reward when you think about the potential risk, which is possibly participating in something that is evil and demonic and sinful. And there's, this is a tricky topic because it's not directly mentioned in the Bible. You know, it's not directly like, do not celebrate Halloween. But there are a lot of verses, you know, that guide us in, in these areas. You know, like Sutton said, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. And to me, that's kind of like partaking in the, in the cup of evil, you know, because it's all about evil. Yeah, and I always thought kind of Halloween is more of your heart posture. You know, if you're not casting spells and you're not like fully partaking in the bad stuff, then are you really doing anything wrong? You know, if your heart's in the right place and you're just doing it to make memories. And, and I just feel like it's like the devil disguises himself. You know, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And, and this is like the perfect example is it seems innocent and it seems like you could be innocent by partaking in this when really... This is just Satan's way of like luring you into something that whether it's in the forefront of your mind or not, it is evil, you know? Like you cannot walk around and look at the de decorations in people's yard and think like, that's that's sweet. Like I bet Jesus looks at that and likes that, you know? Yeah, it's really just concerning how normal it actually is, you know? And I, I think that's those are the areas of life that we have to be most careful about is like what everyone else is doing can be seen as so normal. Everyone's doing it, it can't be that bad. But you know, that's the whole, that's the, we're called to be set apart. You know, we're supposed to be walking down the narrow gate. And the narrow path. The narrow, we're supposed to be walking down the narrow path. <laughs> and yeah, it's just like, I, I think growing up and seeing Halloween, it's like, it's just, you don't really question it. But when you really start to look at it, it's like, this is, this is not of God. Yeah, like he said, I never thought, I never, I knew the Bible never said like, don't celebrate Halloween. So then I would just think, well, then nothing's wrong with it. But why don't you read a couple more verses? Yeah, I'll read, a, I'll read a few more verses. And it's also tricky when you have your churches, you know, even putting on like uh, Halloween events. Because, yeah, it's just, it's strange. First John 1 5, this is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Another one, beloved, do not imitate what is evil but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. Abstain from every form of evil. Neither give place to the devil. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness. Mm hmm. So once I saw this post from my friend, I was like, I can't unsee that. Now I know. And if I, now if I celebrate Halloween, then I really feel like I'm doing something wrong because I've seen that now. And now I know that the Bible does not directly speak against Halloween, like do not participate in Halloween, but it does. I mean, all of that perfectly lines up with Halloween and what it is and what it stands for. So I think this is a perfect example of a sacrificial type of love. You know, I think that's a huge part of being a Christian is just sacrificing a lot of things that we want to do in hopes that we're pleasing God. Yeah, I would love to take our boys out trick-or-treating. Like, I know they would have a blast. I, I don't get any kind of enjoyment withholding that from them. But in the grand scheme of things, I want our family to do what is most honoring to God. It's kind of like, okay, I'm willing to risk the fun of Halloween in, in the chance that maybe I'm living a way that's more pleasing to God. And it's impossible to please God without faith. So sometimes these things take faith that hopefully we're doing the right thing. So this has been kind of a, uh, a timely weight on our heart about Halloween. People might try to make you feel like you're missing out or like you're being dramatic just because they want to participate and they want to feel good about it. So when you, I also saw someone recently on YouTube say they were just sprinkling a little conviction and that's what I feel like we're trying to do here is like just sprinkle a little conviction and maybe God will speak to you through this and change your outlook on things. But people don't want to be convicted of something that they enjoy doing. So they might try and talk you into it or make you feel like you're being over the top by not celebrating it or something. But you just got to stand firm and you know, like we've been saying through the video, we're called to be set apart. So just don't be afraid 
to stand up for something that's right and to be set apart. And like we do, you know, like he just said, we don't want to take something fun away from them. We did it last year. They had the best time. Like now that they actually know what trick or treating is, I it's going to be kind of hard probably to get them to not do it. But the tradition we've already kind of set in the past that we're going to pick back up this year is still taking them to do something fun. Like we, like I said, we go to the mountains, we eat good food, we get ice cream, we go on hikes, like we play it in the rivers. We do all kinds of fun stuff to where they're not even thinking about Halloween, you know, we're doing something more fun than that. Yeah, and with kids, that's where I think it becomes tricky, is like if you're sitting in your house and you look out the window, your kids are like looking out the window, seeing kids trick-or-treating, that's, <laughs> that's probably going to make things with a... With sad song playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to make things a little more challenging, so we have found that removing ourselves from the, the you know, environment seems to be the way to go, especially at such a beautiful time of year, especially here in Georgia where we live, going to the mountains, seeing the fall foliage, uh, spending time together as a family, we believe is going to be more honoring to God than partaking in the dead. <laughs> but you know what's also so, what's so weird is not, it, it's almost like not only does the world participate, the Christian world even, participate in Halloween, but it's almost like, I, I have a feeling people will actually look down on us for not celebrating Halloween. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. People are going to make you feel bad. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like, I could see it's one thing like, okay, I'm going to celebrate Halloween. But for those that decide not to, it's like, look down upon. That is, that's pretty fascinating. Something. Now, I will say the one thing that I was just telling them before we did this video that I just don't know what to do about it is our kids' school that they go to, they have a day. It's not on Halloween, I don't think, unless Halloween happens while they're in school. But... They wear their little costumes to the school and, you know, do I want my kid to be the only kid not dressed up in the school? Should we keep them home that day? That's something I feel like we're going to have to figure out or work through, but they want to be transparent on that, that. I don't know if we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do about that part. All right, guys. Well, I hope that video spoke to you and give us your thoughts on Halloween, especially as a Christ follower, raising kids. How do you handle it? Yeah, and I hope you don't see this video as a bummer. Like... You know, like I saw that post, I'm like, okay, now I can't unsee it. I saw it, I know the verses, now I can't celebrate Halloween because I will feel wrong about it. But more of like an exciting thing. You can start a new tradition. You can do something that's more honoring and pleasing to God than celebrating Halloween. Yeah, exciting in the sense also one of our prayers on a daily basis is for God to reveal sin to us in our lives in ways that we can improve and become more like Him. Because over time, thankfully, I feel like we've become like more and more sanctified and we're removing more and more sin from our lives. But this is like another area. It's like, okay, I can step it up here and, and even grow closer to God in this area. I think that's pretty cool and exciting too. That was Nate Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was our latest convictions on Halloween. <laughs>